Connie and Fish. Hello, I'm going to show you how to baby proof your iPad. So I got this app for my daughter. She's 10 months old and uh, she loves looking at my iPad and always just grabbing for it. So I finally wanted to get her something that she could enjoy. So I got this magic fingers thing, which is basically this free app where it plays music and then you put your fingers on there and all sorts of cool stuff happens when you put your fingers on. She loves it. But the problem is, is every time that I play the game with her, she ends up touching this ad bar, which takes her to there. Or she grabs the screen like this and, and swipes it. She's actually better at doing this than I am, which is funny. She's only 10 months old. Anyway, you can swipe between this. There we go. You can swipe between the screens by using all four of your hands. So I was like, what the heck? How am I supposed to have her enjoy this when she's always getting off the screen? So I figured out you can go to your settings right there. And then you click on accessibility. And then <clears throat> if you scroll down, you can find this spot called guided access. So what you do is you press on the guided access and then it brings up this little uh, toggle switch right here that you just press. And then what this does is once you have it activated, you go to your passcode setting, you set in the passcode, seeing that she's only 10 months old, she won't figure this one out. So I'm just doing all ones. And then once that is all set, what you can do is when you go back to your app right there, you can hit play. And then before you give her the iPad, you tap your home button three times. And then it brings up this little thing that says, can't really see it there, accessibility shortcuts, guided access, <clears throat> zoom, cancel. So you click on guided access and then boom, guided access is started. And what that does is now you can't click on the ads. It just toggles through them and you can't leave the app. Can't even close the the iPad and then if you want to turn that off you just press it three more times and it brings up the little passcode screen one two three four and then it pulls out and then you have these little options too so you can like put time limits on there you can turn on and off touch so if they're watching a movie or something you can turn off the touch and then just hand them that and then then it's just straight up baby proofed then there's the end option and then the resume back to the uh, guided control mode. So let's end this right here. And then guided controls ended and then all of a sudden you can click on the little banner ad again. So boom! That is how you lock your iPad so your baby can enjoy it. Hope that helped. Connie and Fish.